G'day, um, my name's Dave from Pre Shrunk, and you're watching AO uh, on the wonderful V. We're in Melbourne, and the air is full of peppy fumes. It's toxic, but we're having fun. This is Devage. G'day, how are you? We're going to go down to St Kilda later on, hang out with our drummer, see some ace places, and uh, we just come out of the studio actually. We've been in there for a month straight, so we're looking to have some fun. Uh, here's what's coming up on AO. Coming up on AO is Super Heist with their songs, Pulse. Yes, Highlights from Push On. The H2 Whoa Punk Festival from Kayama. If you do whatever you want and you're not getting told what to do, follow your dreams, kids. That's the message today. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm Matt. I'm Becky. I'm Nick. We're from the Mavises and you're watching Channel B. Oh, yeah. You're still on AO. That was Super Heist with Pulse live on the joint. If you want to request any live music you've seen or heard on the joint, you can go to the Channel V webpage and press AO Live. You'll get it. You'll, you'll ask for it and you'll receive it. We're still at Revolver. We're waiting for our drummer to roll up. I'm falling all over the place. 
So let's go and listen to what Dave's doing. He's a pretty funky DJ. What do you think about Revolver, Dave? Uh, I, I dig Revolver, man. I, I like the idea of um, there being decks in use 24 hours a day on the weekends, which is a wonderful thing. Um, there's even more decks out the front where um, bands also play. It's uh, very much a, a hip venue in Melbourne. It's a wonderful bar area, as you see, and a lovely Thai restaurant thrown in. The Foves, speaking of joints, were on the first ever joint, and uh, it was done at the casino here in Melbourne, which is a wonderful venue. And um, this is Surf City Limits on AO.
We're going to find out who DJ Candyman is, and we're going to check out the H2O Punk Festival from Kayama. Right. Let's, Whoa! Go, let's go for a walk and see, see who we can bump into on this wanky travel street. Let's go to a cafe. I, I, can, I can smell money. Coming up on AO, highlights from Push On. The H2O Punk Festival from Kayama. If you do whatever you want and you're not getting told what to do, follow your dreams, kids. That's the message today. Hi, this is Matthias from Millen Collin. Check this out. If you think that's cool, then check out a new album, Pan and Bridge Pioneers, out now on Burning Heart Records. This week, PM's got you covered with the best in music specials. Obviously, music was something that I will always and have always held dear to me. Yeah. Isn't it ironic? You can get intimate and interactive with Alanis Morissette live from Toronto, Canada with a set from her latest album. In the director's cut, we look at part two of Samuel Bayer's video directorial artwork with dark and broody clips from Sheryl Crow, The Afghan Wicks, Nirvana and more. Pencil it in your diaries or on your forehead. It's a slam an hour of Metallica clips back to back with classics like The Memory Remains and Die Dime a Darling. Then we've got Skunk Scar and Swing for your toe tapping pleasure with videos from 28 Days, Real Big Fish, Friends, Little Rum, and heaps more. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day, get out your leprechauns, your four-leaf clovers and do a little jig with clips from U2, Ash and Luca Bloom. Explore the music every weeknight at 7.30 on PM. Hello! You're still on AO. We're on Chapel Street. We're pre-shrunk. And we'd like you to say hello to some fabulous friends of ours, Gil and Marguerite. Marguerite has the best hair in the whole world. Look at that. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're about to go up the street and get ourselves a, a proper cup of coffee because Melbourne, Chapel Street is the only place where you can get a decent cup of coffee. And Mel, and Justin has made a new friend. Oh, Mr. Bond. This is the last time you will fool me. 
take my plums. No, seriously, hey, oh, we're here in Melbourne. They're having a good time. That was a very nice motorcycle, I thought. And uh, they've uh, apparently been down to the push on. G'day, I'm Jay from 28 Days, and you're still watching AO. Here we are at Luna Park in Melbourne for Push On 2000. And I'll um, be talking to some of the bands. I'll be talking to Killing Heidi, Honey Smack, 28 Days, not looking forward to that. And uh, Sammy for Kate. So um, we'll check out some highlights if you'll come with me right now. Let's go. What does push mean to you guys? It's the opposite of pull. It's the opposite of pull. It's been done, we need something original. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, what he said, man. It's something we always want to support because um, they do such a great Boring. job. It's given so many young bands a huge break, including 28 Days. Oh! For me, it means like a memory of our first gig ever in the city as little kids going, oh man, this is very cool. There were people <laughs> listening to our music for the first time. It's good for bands and for the kids because we're to get out in the regional stuff and stuff, and, and that and stuff. So anyway, now and then when I eat a lot of binding food, yep. right? A push, a push now and then can go a long way. Poignant comments, poignant comments from from rock bands, because that's what our thing is that we do. Some nice, easy listening music normally helps me push on better. And on another note. Rock and roll without drugs and alcohol mean to you guys? Um. Without alcohol, it is even better. Um. It means just a day where you're like, cool, everyone's hanging out, just really digging the music and just the music itself. Um. It's, it's the bit in between. <laughs> uh, what do you think about uh, drugs without rock and, uh, sorry, rock and roll? Pure natural energy. It's good, yeah, you can't play off of that. Exactly. Look at us, we perfect example of that. Yeah, it's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thanks, Jay. I'm pretty much nearly out of questions, so um, back to the studio. Now, I want to tell you a story about my family. My first memory in the eyes had open, said hello, belly button, though never had spoken. My mother standing tall behind the turntables playing funk so classic. The beats were broken I saw my brothers with their bouncing nets in motion Now I know for sure I could not miscomprehend Mother was the source, the turntable technician My mother was a DJ
Buddy. Uh, you're on AO. We're in Chapel Street. We're pre-shrunk. We're um, checking it out, seeing what's happening, seeing who's... Ah, hey, Gavan. Hey, Dave. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, Gavan, my mate here. Hey, man, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. How you going? Oh, not much, just um, chilling out in Chapel Street and yeah. um, reading a paper and having a bit of a bevy. Did you catch the GP today, man? No, I didn't actually. Uh, no. Well, you've, you've, had a, you've had a lovely, laid-in, yeah. lazy day, I take yeah, it. Yeah, I've been working hard, so I just sort of needed a bit of a break today. Cool, man. What, what's been taking up all your time? Uh, pretty much the um, recording the album and getting ready for the single to be released. Has it taken, like, how long from doing the album? Well, it took us nine months recording. Wow, um, that's intense. Spending a bit of time, and you know what it's like in the studio. Nine months listening to the same old songs over and over again. It's sort of takes a bit out of you. So do you know them now? You feel like you know the songs? Oh, I know them inside out. Yeah. Back front, you, know. <laughs> you know where the delays cut in and the compression starts and ends. Yeah, and yeah. Cool, man. Now, I've seen this um, this clip around that uh, looks pretty funky. It looks like you, you won the lotto and, and dashed all the cash on the clip. Oh, definitely not, mate. No? It's a, it a low-budget one. We've got some really good guys working on it and um, really happy with what came about. Shot on a location not far from where we're sitting right now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, the 161 bar. Yeah, there's a bit of tram action in the background on that yeah. clip, yeah? That was um, in actually in Melbourne. In the I'm going to split, man. Oh, you better. Oh, you better <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed them. <laughs> um, well, I think that Sugar Fiend is the new single. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, and that's going to be released in April the third, and it's just gone to radio and media right now. So, yeah, it's looking forward to seeing what what if, happens. If you were a pigeon, what box would you put it in? I don't know, I, I find it very hard to put, a, put music in any type of box. It's pretty much like just me, I guess. It's just a band and you know, what, what I'm doing. And I love to listen to music that comes from you know, all parts of the world. And this is the reflection of what I do, I guess. Do you reckon uh, Melbourne has its own sound? Um, I think Melbourne's got a, a great live scene and definitely got probably more of an experimental scene than what the rest of the uh, country does. But yep. um, you know, each to their own. It depends on who you are and what you like and what you want to do, and that's sort of what comes out. And your plans to tour, man, this year? Yeah, hopefully you've been going to do some touring in August, just after the um, second single or album, and go around the country and play some gigs and cool, hopefully... Doing clubs or like standard sort of venues? Um, I'm not too sure yet. We haven't really got, got that far ahead. Um, it's going to be a 10-piece band, so... Um, we're going to probably need a big stage, so I'm looking looking to play some bigger gigs if that's possible. Man, it's time to expose your talent to the world via AO, and this is the clip we're going to run Sugar Fiend right now. Right. So, enjoy. AO, AO, AO. Cause I'm dreaming of the fortune of tomorrow 
Hi, this is Denny Hines, and you're watching AO. And my favourite Australian song of the last century was Buses and Trains by Bachelor Girl. That album got played to death in my house in London. This is my favourite tune. Enjoy it. You know it. Humor me and enjoy it. <laughs> that was Bachelor Girl with Buses and Trains. Let's go get some clothing. Okay. Thanks. So we're still pre shrunk. You're still on AO. And after the break, we're going to check out Heligen. Mark Pelican and the Melbourne based DJ Candyman. Crank and energetic band She Had begin their national General Electric tour for Channel V in March. And we'd like to make a couple of She Had fans really stoked by flying them to the Margaret River Masters gig in Western Australia to meet the band and pick up a surfboard signed by She Had. Tell us which Australian beach you'd like to surf at with She Had and you're in the running to win. Get your entries to channelv.com.au or PO Box 5333 Sydney, New South Wales 1044. The winner will be announced on By Demand on March 25th. Channel V and She Had, turning it all the way up to 11. The skull bones connected to the neck bone. The neck bones connected to the back bone. The back bones connected to the crotch bone. The wrist bones connected to the hand bone. The hand bones connected to the skin can. And that's how you slam it down. <laughs> Slam it down. Stimulate your mind, body and soul with Lauren Hill. Two hours of fat grooves on two CDs. Whipping up tasty tunes. Soul Kitchen. CD in stores now. Hi, this is Andy from the rock band You Are Mine. And I am uh, Rusty, the drummer from the aforementioned rock band You Are Mine. And you're watching AO, Australian only.
you're still on AO. This is Free Shrunk, and that was Halogen with their fantastic song Crash Barrier off their awesome new album, Into the Crash Barrier. We can't even open it, so forget about it. But anyway, we're on Chapel Street. We're trying on some clothes in shag. And look who I met, Justin. What are you doing, Justin? Mandy. Sarah. Samantha. Oh, Cecilia. He's a complete freak. We're going to go to Kayama while we check out these clothing. You're going to check out the action at the festival of Page 2 See you soon. Stick around. No. Jay Giles wouldn't have believed it. Thank you, Australia! I'm Pete Porker from the Porkers, and here I am down in sunny Kayama. We're at the H2 Woo Festival. There's a bunch of bands playing, a bunch of Australian bands, a bunch of smaller local bands from this area. Uh, Mac Pelican's on stage over, the, over, there, over there at the moment. Um, the Porkers are playing later. There's all sorts of stuff happening. The kids are going nuts, and it's all lovely here in sunny Kayama today. What's your mission for today? Uh, just to see as many bands as I can. See a lot of the local bands that I haven't seen down here. My mission today is just to have fun, sell lots of merchandise, have a good time. To come down here, play, see lots of other bands, drink lots of Fanta, and um, catch up with heaps of people and generally have fun. My mission today is to give the crowd what they want and to make them to go home happy and content and get a good night's sleep. What is punk? It's an anti-authoritarian youth cultural movement. It's whatever you want it to be. Something that happened 30 years ago. In a way of dressing silly. We all dress the style, but we love it. But you don't have to have um, safety pins, mohawks, leather jackets. You just, if, if you do whatever you want and you're not getting told what to do, follow your dreams, kids. That's the message today. Why did we put it on? Just, we're really interested in getting uh, youth attention to um, all ages events because Kids can't go and see bands like this because they're either going to play at the uni where it's you know over 18s or elsewhere. Um, and this is also has six local bands, and to give the local bands a go and to play with overseas acts doesn't happen too much either. There's never really been much for kids apart from the old blue light discos that the police yeah, used well, to run. Yeah, when we used to, when we were younger and stuff like there was nothing to do. You know, you go out to blue light disco and try and get on with some chick, and that was about it. Yeah, I didn't see my first <laughs> band until I was about 15 or 16 years old, which is it's a kind of a shame, really. You know, so it's good that that people like Francis are. Um, I sort of committed to doing this kind of stuff and, make, and trying to do it properly too because it gives the kids a good chance to intermingle with bands and, and get right into the music, right behind the music.
at Candyman. I'm uh, from Melbourne. I've been there about five and a half years now. I'm originally from the States. Uh, I've been a DJ for about eight years. Uh, I play now 100% Australian music in my sets. Uh, I think there's a lot of great music here in this country that DJs who play vinyl don't get to play because they don't play CDs, and, and I do, and, uh, and I love it. Some really good talent here, and uh, it's good to, good to do. difference than playing just a record that I get in from overseas. I get to play songs that people I've met or people that I've contacted through email have actually made and produced and I, and I see what's behind it and I, and I get to know the people a lot more and, and when they hear the tracks out as well they're, they're really excited and, and, it, and it's good to, to be able to, to offer that to them because a lot of them are, are veteran producers and they don't get to play live at, at clubs because they're not big names and, 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 it, and it's good to be able to do that for them. Okay, that was uh, DJ Candyman on AO. He's a very cool DJ. He plays all Australian gear, which is very, very cool, and he deserves to be complimented for that. Go, work. DJ Candyman. Bar Thunder, it's a fire, hot gridded. Yep, little Joe rapped, and it gets real start. The fire could burn its way right through them hills. The fire timber is dry like hey, just ready to blaze. Looks like we gotta do something about it before it roars over the hills and burns out the engines. We're pretty shrunk, by the way. We've had an ace time mucking around with you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Melbourne. We've got an album coming up. We've just finished recording it. It'll be out in June. We're going to keep it a surprise as to what is going to be the single, but we're going to play you um, one of our old singles called Hot Robots. Thanks so much for having us, and we'll see you next time on AO. 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 Did I come and want to We're go. walking home. Okay. I'm out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Too dangerous, too dangerous, too dangerous for human beings. Too dangerous.